You know what I mean? The only thing that can kill me is death, death, death. death. Hell no, I can't trust nobody. Cause so I keep me a stick at the party. Pulling up finna catch me a body. Round round with them choppers, no hollies. They know I gotta keep my Scotty. 33 and it's acting retarded. If it don't kill me, go harder. All my niggas and we moving like shotters. And I'm big TLA, we popping. We bought no assist, no stockin'. All my niggas, we up, we locked in. If he say he got gas, might stop in. HP for the number of heart. Free MC, white chalkin'. Try to catch a play D Hopkins. Pull up on the scene, we walk down. All that talking tough got chalked out. Bitch down the bricks, my hot route. How we gon' lose? We hot now Got me sipping Henny that act up Get it by the load, no Mack truck Put your ex on my sock up Okay, welcome to Pittsburgh Chatter Where I do interviews where I want, whenever I want, with who I want And today, I got a special guest Vance Vaughn Yo, 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 yo Thanks thanks for getting it right, I appreciate that, bro Yes, alright, so let's t- let's settle that right now I, I'm trying to apologize to everybody I interviewed at the Man Made Fest I was very uncomfortable That was my first time doing public interviews and then, like, when I had Bird and James in here, they was like, what the fuck? Like, everything was different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And different. I was like, bro, it's not my scene in public. It's just not for me. So, like, I do want to apologize. God, nah, bro, that. nothing to apologize. I appreciate you coming up to me and, like, asking You me know stuff. me, yeah, so yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah, take yeah, any yeah, fault no, to no, it. No, yeah, no, not at all. All right. So, that was definitely the last time we seen each other. Yeah. And you had multiple artists that yeah. you had produced for there. Yeah. All right. Was there any artist that you hadn't made music for? before and then you seen there was like oh we're, we got a collab <sighs> um, or everyone was i, I definitely hit a couple people up afterwards um it's just like you know people it takes a while for people to come up with songs you know it takes like a while for people to come up with like stuff they actually want to come to the studio and like pay money to do so i mean like i always sh- i shoot my shot at everybody you know i want to work with everybody um i said this thing in like a uh this i'm in like this uh i'm in this collective called uh, ATC, it's Alumni Theater Company. We had this meeting, but um, I said this thing that like everybody who works in the art scene or like in, in the art community, local art community, is like a resource, you know? And I don't mean to say like, oh, they're a financial resource or they're a resource and like, oh, I could get something out of them. It's just that like, I don't know, I feel like we all, all can contribute to, you know, making this scene, you know. In some form I, or fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. And that's all aspects, too, when you think about it. It's like the business side or the production engineering side, yeah, yeah. and then you still need the musical talent. Everybody yeah. needs to come together. No, 100%. I yeah. I can't do it by myself. You know, I, actually, uh, I started... I started making beats for myself and rapping because nobody would rap on my, you know, when you mm. first make a beat, nobody wants to rap on your Hold talking. on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we'll yeah, get to that because that's, yeah, yeah. that, that's yeah, a part yeah. of the journey. Yeah, yeah. All right. So first, let's start into the beginning on how you got into the engineering and rapping. What it, Now, if that was the way you got yeah, yeah. into it, yeah. then you can proceed with this Okay, way. cool. Yeah, yeah. So um, I was in marching band in high school and... After I graduated, it just felt like there was like something missing because I wasn't like where I was still volunteering for the band or whatever. But like when I was in band, like all my free time went to like making stand songs, you know, like mm. just like, you know, all the culture stuff that goes in the band, like planning, like, you know, get getaways and or not getaways, but, you know, planning, like uh, going out with like the whole band or whatever. So um, just like not having that in my life, it just felt like something was missing. And then like. I got a new iPhone and GarageBand was on there and I, st- I made my first beat and it just like kind of felt like that void was like, it wasn't filled completely, but like it felt like that was like the how passion I feel that. came back. Exactly. Okay, yeah, so yeah. my question is like on GarageBand, yeah. you're making this beat. Like, how does this, like, what's this process like? Like, are you just like, all right, fooling around with anything? You happen to make a beat or you went now, with the okay, intention so the of making first, a beat? The first GarageBand beat I made, so they have this th- this thing called like live loops. So like you basically just like clip, pl- press a button and it just like loops and then like you find some drums and you press that button and it loops, you know? Mm. So I basically just like messed around with that. I wrote a really shitty song and I recorded it, but I, I felt like oh my god like this is fucking genius like uh, people people hear this you know it's gonna be amazing <laughs> but you know i think that's like where, where we all start you know like if you don't have that like thing where you're like oh i feel like this could go somewhere you know like you're just gonna be like that it's gonna it's gonna end there after that after the first time you try to record something on your iphone so it's definitely a part of the process yeah. but now you trust me you we're gonna get into it next but <laughs> You do not have to worry about crappy sound, oh engineer, God. any of that. Because I listened to the project and I was like, oh my, I don't, no, I'm never going to say that because I don't want anybody to take offense. Okay, <laughs> so moving on to that. You dropped a project recently that's called Hip Hop, right? Yeah. All right, is that a play on hip hop? It is. Okay. Um, it's just like kind of the acknowledgement that like, okay, so like if you were to think of what pop music is, it's like just contemporary music, like the contemporary popular, popular music of the time, mm-hmm. you know? What's the most popular genre, genre in the world right now? Hip hop, you know? What's every genre, like 
taking aesthetics from like 808s and hi-hats and all that stuff taking it from hip-hop you know fucking jelly roll you know jelly roll the guy who he's a country music guy mm -mm. got tats on his face oh that was the guy that went yeah, viral for yeah, saying yeah, yeah. the windshield Dude, like, rear view thing entire yeah. aesthetic of a rapper right but like he's just giving you like country vocals right mm -hmm. if there's 808s hi-hats all that shit that comes with like rap music but like so it's just like kind of like acknowledging that like it is now like the contemporary popular music just like uh instinct or something was like 10 15 years ago you know it's like that's that's like what the scene is now so also i'm glad you all right another thing i noticed about the project too is like it's weird though it's like it has a rap feel to it but it's not like I'm glad you didn't like center it around that. Yeah. It's like it really is like more of like a pop feel. Like yeah. there's some songs where it's like okay, well, all right, like for the the, uh, the friend song. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh, how you manage that? I mean, that was the first song that I resonated with, and I always say this because when I look at projects, I go for what I'm like. Okay, yeah, this yeah. is a song that I can really listen yeah. to, and it's let's be friends. <laughs> it's just so good. I want to start off with the beat there. Let's start off right there. When you were creating this, like. What was the process? Because to incorporate samples and things can get pretty difficult. People don't understand yeah. it. So how I'm actually you happy you asked this? about this beat in particular because so like when you make beats, like there's okay, so like typically most rap beats are in four four time. So that's four beats every measure. So one, two, three, four, two, two. So the sample I got for friends was actually in three four. So there's three beats for every measure. So one, two, three, two, two, three. So like I basically had to figure out how I take like each beat like make them like either double or like follow after a beat that kind of like fits or you know it's just that's the fun thing about sampling is like people think like oh you just like take something from somebody else and you just like loop it it's like well th if that was like all sampling was you know I, I think we'd still like be in the basements of like and make you know doing like just regular dance parties or whatever but you know there's a lot that goes into it there's a lot of originality and like creativity that can come out of you know just like a small three second clip of a whole song you know um so yeah and i'm a big beach boys fan too, but so another what, people another thing that people don't under, might not understand is like to take a sample of like something like the beach boys yeah, yeah. um oh what is the song that i know a song about them all right I, i'm gonna remember yeah, it you're, later. Good, you're good but uh yeah the thing about it is like someone could do the same thing and in that in that sound as soulful as the song you made because it's like the like come on bro you gotta hear it in the beat of like and it, then it's like the artist you we'll get into this because you put a bunch of artists on this uh project yeah but it's like how you place these people on this song like how did this come about how did you know that you were going to put samurai and is it live from the city live from the city on this song so i knew so i sent live i first sent live from the city like a pack of beats like because i knew i wanted him on the project and he picked that one and when he picked that one he didn't have, i don't know if he had anything written for it but i was like all right if anybody picks this beat like i kind of know i want what, what i want the song to be about just side note I want to say like two months after we got done and recorded this song, that Kendrick Lamar song came out where he's arguing with his girl. Mm -hmm. and I'm like thinking like, damn, people are gonna think I stole that idea from from this man or you know. But uh, yeah, so I sent that sent that. No, no, no. People have done that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, so good, you're good. I sent it to live, and um, he was like, yeah. I was like, I'm thinking um, either Sam Ray and I said like two other women that I was thinking about, and he's like, I, I I wanted to work with Sam Ray for like the past year, so um, I I was I've been I've been trying to get a song with Sam Ray for. At that point, like six, seven months. And oh, so, yeah. So she's like, so talented. She's a beast. All right, she's so I'm hearing her verse, and I, all right, because like you hear the first verse, and you're like, okay, this is very good. I don't think this can be topped. When I'm talking <laughs> about when I'm first yeah, listening yeah. to it, and then she comes on and like matches it, sings it, like brings it to like a more like earthy vibe too, and I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh. And then in my mind, I'm like. Another person I met at the Man Maids Fest who's very talented. I just fucked up with the interview oh, of yeah, the public. Hey, listen, if you ever need Sam too, I'll, I, she's I, so I yeah, talented. Yeah, yeah. Live from the city, so talented. So Beast. you made, you definitely made a hit Beast. with that song. I put down my phone and everything. I, talking oh, about thanks, that. man. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Good looks. Good looks. So kudos to that song and yeah. kudos to the quality of the bro. whole out bro it means a lot man thank you you that's, could tell you worked on it that's the that's the thing i really wanted to like establish is like a high quality product you know because like at the end of the day like you said earlier it is business you know and like it's if you were to sell like bad frying pans nobody's mm -hmm. gonna buy your fucking frying pans you know mm -hmm. if i were to if literally my job is a producer and an engineer and it sounds like shit when you listen to it artists are killing it but like mm -hmm. it sounds like shit then you're gonna be like okay yeah, the artists were cool like this it was a cool idea but 
the producer engineer so like that's why like it probably took like an extra like 10 to 12 months just just like cleaning it up and making sure everything was nice. look side note here i have to link you with my bro because he's so talented and i keep telling him bro you yeah. have to go to a studio and he's like seeing is like i'm trying to shit on him or belittle and no. i'm like bro you're wasting your time yeah, just putting out yeah a-list music on a c-list level that's another thing too like there's some engineers who like and i'm not shitting on like other engineers or whatever but like there are some people who literally it's just like clock in clock out it's like being a janitor for them you know and they might actually like you know they might they they might be like actual artists or they might be in a bit and again i'm not taking i know some amazing engineers who mm -hmm. also make art or who also make music um but what you kind of get with that a lot of times is people just don't feel like you know when you, if sometimes if you don't come with something that interests them, they're not gonna like go crazy as like, you know, they would on their own stuff. It's kind of like you have to interest that passion in them to get the full Exactly, so it's them. like, mm. I, I try to like, objectively just like take 10 feet back from like every song that I'm working on and I try to hear from like a third person, I'm like, all right, how can I objectively as an engineer fill up this mix? How can I make it, how can I make this feel like more full? How can I make this feel like it's not just like recorded mm -hmm. some like, you know, in, in like, you know, cause our studio's in a warehouse. Mm -hmm. how, does it, how do we record this and make it feel like it's not like in a warehouse, just like, you know, and he booked 20 minutes ago, you know? Mm -hmm. How do we make this feel like it's like something that's like has intention and plan? And that's the toughest thing. Cause a lot of people don't have intention and plan when they're coming to well you found a little bit of a cheat code with it is where it's like okay you create these beats so yeah. your passion and love's already in it because 100%. these are your beats so now you're just performing the sound exactly that's why it's, you could tell that's why yeah okay so my next question is like what was your favorite song off the project of you personally <laughs> you and i know you, you don't want to like separate people <laughs> come on there's a song you like the best <laughs> all right um it's tough actually uh i would say um oh man how you made my day is that that's the second track on there um that's just like my favorite like sample and like lyrics i just feel like that's like a classic rap song and like it has just like such a different vibe to it especially how the hook comes off um because it just feels like it's a part of the verse you know um i really enjoy that and i, I really enjoy yk's yk part as well um popovich i really love popovich um robin hood which is the bank robbery song um, I guess I'm trying to ask you about <laughs> what songs you like on your whole project. Yeah, it's yeah, kinda, it's stupid, yeah. I, I it's like all the, I like all the, I like all the songs. All the songs are great. That's all the songs. That was kind of a stupid question because it's like clearly you like all of them. Yeah. You, all the songs okay, are all right, good. All right, yeah, my yeah. bad, my no, bad. No, you're fine, bro. I appreciate it. Okay, so oh oh, that's what it was. Good vibrations. Good I do vibrations. Not yeah, I'm yeah. giving off good vibrations. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. By Beach Boys. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the song I know about. That's like one of my favorite songs. Oh my god, that's crazy. I just popped back in my head. Okay, so uh, uh, before we get off the Friends thing, have they ever made music before? No, together? no they haven't made any music since. So that was just like they flow perfectly. Yeah. It just happened like hey, that. It, City wants a, wants a mixtape with you too. That would, that would go <laughs> fire. I'm not going to lie because that song, okay. It worked. It was, it was good. The next one we have, Robin Hood, and this ha uh, has Brother Man's on it. Yeah. So when you were creating this, like this is another thing where you just, he picked this beat to be on? So this was another case where I sent Manny like a pack of beats. Or I might have actually, you know, because I knew when I was making this project that I w Manny was like one of the, I mean, because I started with Manny. So mm -hmm. like, I'm like, I'm going to do this thing with Manny too. So, um, and then he, I sent him that beat probably like two weeks before, like we even were planning to work on something. He was like, yeah, I know. I want to work on this one for sure. Mm -hmm. um, then when we were making it, so like, he was like, yeah, bro, I'm thinking like a bank robbery, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like kind of corny you know like because like you've heard the bank robbery song done and like if it's not done right like it could like actually be like sound like an snl skit speaker gone knockers kind of top tier yeah, yeah, you like, really can't yeah, get speaker much knockers did like a thing about sticking up his friend you know so it's like yeah. yeah you you like you have to do it like if you're not gonna do it like i i know if i wanted to do that like and make it pull it off right like uh, it just had to feel like a big like blockbuster movie, you know. Mm. So like we basically uh, started with the song, we finished the whole song basically, and then I I, I, don't, I can't remember if it was me or him. Something in there was just like, let me just push this whole thing back and let's just like do an intro where we're just like sticking up the bank. And then after I did that, I was like, we got to get like an animated video done to this. And I just found an animator probably like two weeks ago that like I, I networked with on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So um, I basically like that that process in itself as it came out the video yeah hell yeah if you, okay uh, so that is one of the videos that i seen him posting yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah okay yeah okay yeah yeah yeah, most oh. definitely so uh yeah that that video took about six months to do um i wish i would have rolled it out a little bit differently now looking at like how like 
just having like a little bit more experience but like i'm super happy with the product um I, everybody who sh i show it to like they're they're really they, they they tend to enjoy it at least from what they tell me so um, hold on because you said here that you recorded the bank robbery part first so all right that was a question i had because the first part of the beat is different between like you when it gets to the uh, second verse, ah, yeah, it yeah. changes a little bit. It's the same basis, but it does yeah, yeah, change yeah, a little yeah, yeah. bit. So I wanted to know, like, what was the reasoning for Was that the reasoning because you hadn't finished it? Or was it, uh, that was a whole beat like that? So, oh, so, okay. So uh, that's actually, like, one of the few beats, like, in this whole project that like uh i had like the second verse like kind of i kind of went like a little crazier on the, i not saying i didn't go crazy on all the beats yeah. i just like did like a little bit more than i usually do with this particular beat um just to kind of like set that scene and kind of give it that energy mm -hmm. um but yeah so uh, it was intentional it was definitely intentional after he like basically was like we kind of want to make it a bank robbery i'm like all right i gotta make this shit feel like as much as a bank okay. robbery so i gotta have people screaming i gotta have shit exploding i gotta yeah. have fucking gunshots you know all the shit that like you know you would think of you know uh like heat or something a movie where there's a bank robbery so and who chose the name because it's a bank robbery but robin hood he kind of robbed it yeah, uh, yeah, just Manny. the rich yeah. in general so yeah so that was just a play on that just yeah, to make it yeah, a more friendly two b's instead of one so robin yeah yeah so uh yeah manny came up with that um it was like it's actually one of his bars and then like i was like oh that'd be a cool name um so yeah um, another thing about this project is the artwork it's phenomenal it's just like psh, i don't i don't see how like you see the artwork <laughs> and you don't want to like click on it because it's like fun and then it's like i don't know if like i don't want to speak for them or speak against them in any way mm -hmm. but i don't know if every artist appreciates what you did with like literally they each have their own oh, picture yeah, yeah, yeah. and single on them i don't understand it, from my perspective that's just like phenomenal that you did that and it shows that you actually care about yeah, every single every song, person yeah. being seen yeah, i mean of course including yourself you might have the best picture on there holding the <laughs> keyboard and the microphone but like what explain the artwork explain who helped you with this and created it and was this i your idea in the beginning yeah so i knew i so it kind of like evolved as it came along so with the hip-hop title so isis her name is isis that's who did the graphic design um mm -hmm. isis duncan shout um, out isis, to her. at isis day on instagram or daydreamer excuse me at day underscore dreamer um she so we kind of we i told her about the hip-hop uh cover i kind of actually the original concept for the cover is you know the andy warhol pop art collage mm, okay, that's where it okay, takes inspiration okay, from okay. that's where the colors come from but i did want to have like an animation thing so like that's based off of like photorealism and it's like a car so it takes inspiration from like the andy warhol uh pop art like you know the, those collages that you mm -hmm. see um and then so like it started there um i knew i wanted to do like spotify canvases which are the oh you're talking about when he has like the squares and it's like different exactly different yeah, yeah. colors yeah, on yeah, each yeah. square it's like Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn okay Monroe, like, okay i know exactly it's i was thinking like which one yeah he has so many and oh, Andy warhol is also from, from pittsburgh so yes. that's like kind of like you know it's not like a direct in your face like reference but yes. like it's like hey this is also part of our culture mm -hmm. you know so um but so i started off with like wanting spotify canvases then i was like all right we're gonna turn those into posters which that's like an evolving idea right now too. So I'm I'm still getting pro. Do you have, some, do you have them yet? I don't. So uh, I can actually now I'm gonna I'm gonna announce it on here. Um, but I'm actually printing those up to like movie size posters, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm I don't know if you know this too. I make tie dye shirts, mm -hmm. so I, I'm making one of one tie dye shirts to go with those. That like m there's a specific tie dye design that like matches the song. Like so, Friends is gonna have a heart in the middle. You know, um, Robin Hood has like a bullseye in the in the middle. Um, so like each song has its own like tie-dye design and then it's gonna have like its own hand-painted like again Individual design for that song and they're gonna be one of one pieces that like are gonna be like limited um, I'm either thinking about auctioning them or just like selling and selling them from like whole but um, yeah That's like kind of like the plan, but it's you should, you should do it where yeah. it's like if they bat a certain they get a poster Yeah, oh I, I was God. I was that there's like a lot of cuz uh, it's just a lot There's a lot that goes into it um, and usually like the mass-produced posters um that's especially like good quality and you have a yeah. ton of colors like yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah and that's another thing too like because like it's like the weirdest like our like the weirdest like debate the inner dialogue you're having with yourself is like do i spend money on like getting more merch out or do i spend more money on like getting promotion so more people can hear it because i know like people enjoy it enough to where like if i promoted it as like, if i promote the music like you spend like a couple hundred bucks what's like what's every week you're at you don't you don't i got bro oh no no bro. But, but you know what i mean like instagram ads and fucking facebook ads you know the, all that stuff that people tell you to do like you know that 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 air promotion i appreciate this all right let me, like, let me let me let me all right because here's my thing uh because i do know people are familiar with boost in their posts yeah 
I don't do it. Yeah. At all. Actually, I was listening to your, your pod the other day, and I seen you said you have the theory that, like, if you boost it a couple times, they're going to want you to keep boosting it. Which, is th- that's not a bad theory. I, and, but I I'm did not, say, if you're promoting something, yeah. like, you have a show or something, or, and there's a flyer, like, in yeah. your case, you're promoting something. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm promoting something, but at the same time, I want that. I want to see, like, how far I can take it naturally, and yeah. it's like... They kind of letting me ride with the yeah. natural wave, so I don't want to fuck it up. No, 100%. Yeah. No, I feel that. But I do get it if you're promoting something. Like, if you have a new song dropping, like, it just makes sense to yeah. promote like that. It's a little hard with music, too, because, like, really, like, so, like, again, like, and again, so, just, like, kind of, like, in a small community basis, usually when you're just showing your friends and your family music, most times they're not even going to, like, they're just going to, like, one ear out the other, you know, type of deal. And so, like... That's another thing that's cool about like getting people off of Instagram ads and Facebook ads and stuff is because you're getting a brand new listener who, hey, they seen they they seen something about your post and they resonated with with it whether it's the art whether it's the song you know whether it's like what you typed and like made them like you know maybe that was like what sucked them in, but um, you know I feel I always feel like that like as long as somebody resonates with something in your art and they could take something from it and then like you know hey like even if I just like the like like this Instagram post, there's a higher chance of me popping up in their feed again because they liked one of my posts, you know? All right, so, so h- how do you feel about the support that you're giving? Because do you feel as if though, because, like, you're doing a lot, bro. You're, yeah. Like, you record, you engineer, and then you you have, you engineer for uh, other rappers outside yeah, yeah, of yeah, if yeah, it's yeah, your beats yeah, and stuff, yeah, too. Yeah. So you're doing that, and then you're talking about you're doing tie-dye, you're creating yeah, posters, yeah. and then I'm, I'm assuming you have a job on top of that. No, 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 actually... So this is all your yeah. life. I, I literally basically, I call it like a freelance. So like okay. I, I do like, again, well, however I can make money, as long as it's nothing like sexual, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll try to do it, you know? Got you. Like, yeah, like. <laughs> so how is your support in each one of those fields? Because there's, there's different fields technically. It's like your craft and then their craft. Like how do you feel about the support in each one of those fields? So support is like kind of a, is like, I don't know. It depends on like how, how you want to be supported right Mm -hmm. for me i fulfill supported as like again like and again this is my thing too about like a successful business and i i hate like using fucking amazon or whatever but it's like jeff bezos didn't like count on his friends to be like oh we're gonna buy books from only jeff Mm -hmm. and like we're only gonna get books from jeff and whenever he drops a book we're we're gonna only go on amazon and that's not that's not how their platform grew you know Mm -hmm. so like I definitely appreciate any like friends like support I get or any family support too because that's actually what's harder to come by the family support those are the people who believe in you like the least but um yeah it's it's weird like I know there's some people who like kind of resent when people don't like share their stuff but like I don't know it's just like uh motivation for me to go harder the next time you know because like listen if you're not if if this person isn't vibing with like the music I'm making now I know the stuff that I'm like something from the next two projects I'm working on is going to be like, it's at least going to grab, it's going to grab your attention a little bit, you know? But so. it, it, all right. I agree with everything you said. That's yeah. why I went hard. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. one of the, one of the factors. Cause you need more than one factor to go yeah, yeah. keep going. But yeah. also it's just, it just be shocking. That's no, 100%, bro. Listen, like I literally have people who will tell me to my face, like, bro, I love that project. Every song, blah, blah, blah. give me detailed what notes. Is it with the face to face bullshit? And then like, yeah, well, then like they, they they won't even like acknowledge it on any form of social media. And it's like again, that's like if I were to obsess over that aspect, I would be like focusing on the wrong thing. And then I'm not working. I'm I'm like more worried about how people are perceiving me than how good my beats are. But how here's good my mix th- is, you know? this. This is my slight problem with it. And then yeah. I and then we're no, gonna no, move you're fine. on. No, I love this. I love this conversation. This is my slight problem, and then we'll move on because I don't want to like because this is. I don't want it to get too long in this conversation. No, you're fine. But I, I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense. All right, it makes sense if you're a busy person and you're mm-hmm. not in on the internet. Like, yeah. I have bros where it's like, bro, I don't really be on the internet. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. You're not busy. You rarely do anything. You barely work. <laughs> and you're posting TikToks, all these other funny videos. Why can't I get it? You post, I have inspirational posts on my shit that like, you come can on. post. Like, I, I, I say some <laughs> motivational things sometimes. Like, come on, help me out here. No, I get it. Uh, <laughs> There's two things to that. Two, I feel like there are some people who were like, well, literally, they don't have shit going on, or they're not happy with the shit they got going on in life. Mm. So they just like resent people who like they perceive that like, oh, even though people aren't paying this person attention, like, like they're still happy with what they're doing. Like that's not my case. Like mm. I'm pissed people aren't paying attention to what the fuck I'm doing. You know. Second thing is I feel like when people talk about like the artist community here, or like not even just like because I wouldn't say like artist community, just like the Pittsburgh community supporting artists. I feel like it. That's a 
as much of a culture and infrastructure problem as it is just like a like people just being like oh fuck every pittsburgh rapper right because if the since that's since that's the culture to be like fuck every pittsburgh rapper who's like not with khalifa mac miller or like you know somebody who blew up right if if like that's like kind of the culture to be like kind of like laugh at them or like make fun of their music or like just like kind of like not take them seriously or just like minimize like their art in general um that's like kind of why it's like this like constant cycle and loop of just like people not taking each other serious and like kind of like resenting each other for not taking so it starts off with like hey you didn't share my stuff because you know you might not even pay attention to it but like just because of that i will never support you or share your stuff it's like this endless cycle so it's about like i don't know i want to be a part of again i'm not saying i'm going to change the whole city of pittsburgh or i'm going to change the entire culture of the city but i think a big part of like Building like your own like thing is building your own community. It's building your own culture and like establishing like, hey, like, you know, it's cool. You could be negative. You can like, you can laugh at like, you know, somebody else's post. Like, you could laugh at Christian Rock or Blueface, whatever the fuck you want to do. But in this space, the negativity is not like necessarily accepted. Especially like as me as an engineer, just imagine what artist would want to record the engineer who's always like, man, this song ain't gonna do fucking shit. Like, I don't even know why you're coming here. Why are you recording? Like, who wants to be around that type of guy? And so. You never know what song's gonna go up. But one thing is like, we're like almost the same person in different fields here. Because yeah. I, I think about it exactly how you're saying. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> the ability to you that you have is like, I don't know if you're gonna keep doing it to where you're making projects like this, but it's almost like you can work with almost like you can do the way you're doing this, the way you did this project. And of course, people be like, dang, I want to be on their next project. But if you were to do that with a whole different set of people and then you come back and do another. Oh, my yeah. God. There's so many ways you could do it. Yeah. So like I there is. Uh, so I know um, you thought about it. Yeah, there's going to definitely be another compilation tape. Um the concept for that one is still on the like the ground for real but like i know like because you just general, dropped this yeah, yeah, yeah um i do have two like solo project well i would say i have one for sure solo project in the work with james mm -hmm. james perry um talented, very talented. and then um uh, beast um and then i don't know if you know who ace the king is that's like uh, that's a he's like he's on the same mf doom type of time i'm i am he's like a rap nerd mm -hmm. so like I don't know. I wanted. I kind of want to low key do a project with him just so like we can just like rap nerd out together on, on like a. a, a six. Oh, you're gonna? Are you gonna? Are no, you I'm gonna hop on mic or you're just like? No, so again, I'm dancing too no, good no, on no, these beats. No, 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 you're not I'm dancing good. at all. Yeah, so like, uh, what's it called? <laughs> when I uh, when I started making music, like I rapped, but like it was more just because like people were getting on my beats, you know, and like. I just and like you know I I enjoyed it you know I was like when I was working at the gas station I'd be in like the back office making demos in like the fucking back of the gas station mm -hmm. and that's honestly when I feel like I was the most creatively free because like I just wasn't I wasn't selling beats you know people weren't like expecting something from me you know there's nothing you said that you messed with and even just one bar to where it's like you could probably even make that your tag or something there's nothing you said <laughs> that you're like oh that was fine yeah so uh the thing about the tag uh I want something that like I I that's Oh, so you've thought about this too? I've definitely again. thought about the tag. Okay. I've had like a couple different ideas. Um, I've had a tag before, but like it's just like I kind of want to be perfect. It has to be good, man. Yeah. It has to be good, and I kind of wanted to like represent my brand, you know. Mm -hmm. So like I just want to find something that like you know that's uh, yeah that I, I enjoy like any artist who like or at least any producer that like you know their their tag actually feels like it belongs in their beats you know like it's not just like some random ass like sound clip that you pull from you know youtube or whatever but before this project it was just all singles you weren't there was no other project yeah. mixed out no for, so i not produced. my own project i've definitely like dropped songs with like well i didn't drop songs but songs were dropped with like me producing them um for since like 2019 ish 20 no, but as like yours this is the first first thing so that would be just like okay that was a project you produced or helped make yeah, so yeah so uh branding uh we're called we i call these production pieces because mm -hmm. i kind of want them to feel like well first off just for branding thing like if you call it a production piece over album like i could say it, it is the best pr production piece in pittsburgh i'm not stepping on anybody's toes right if i say like nobody calls it yeah that. right <laughs> if, if, if i'm like oh this is the best hip-hop album in pittsburgh like people are gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? My shit's the best, and then that's where that resentment comes in. But like when you kind of like quirky and clever and brand it, like people are like, oh, that's like cute, you know? That's 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 funny, like you know. So uh, yeah, that's why I call them production pieces because of that. And too, like I do want them to feel like 
it's like more than just like music you're listening to. I want them to be like experiences. I want everything to feel like, oh shit, like that was like, now I, I heard a song, now I have something like to think about a little bit. Like, even if it's not like anything like super crazy or super deep, like it's just like something that gives you like maybe like an extra two minutes of like thinking to yourself and you're like, okay, that was a cool like, that or uh, th that was a cool experience. I'm, I I want to hear some more. So like that's like. So you wait. You have your own studio, but you also have a professional studio that you work. So at? actually, or, no, like, I don't have my work? own studio. I I basically make beats and stuff out of my crib. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I work at a shelf on sound that's in Forest Hills. Okay. I also work at an ID. ID. Uh, okay, can, yeah. we, I'm sorry. We, yeah. we have to, bro. Yeah. We all right. So I recently I was all right. This was uh before this. I would reach in, reached out before you hit me up because I was trying to get everybody loves. All right. All right, I'm yeah. gonna have to so talk. It's just like I've never. I work at ID Labs. I've seen any day and walked past me once. I've never seen this man mm. in an interview. If you got that interview, that'd be a great interview. So like, I hope you. I've get never that. seen him. Do it, but all right, no, but this, but also let's go back here. So how did you get this opportunity? What's it like working at nostalgic? ID? Just talk about it. Yeah, of course. Oh, um, I mean, it's cool. You know, like, uh, it's just like any other. I mean, like that's another thing too. Like, uh, if you kind of like let the plaques and like all the other stuff that's going on, like kind of like get in your head then you're not like i don't know i feel like you're just like kind of like gonna be stagnant but as long as you're going there to work i mean like i feel like it's just like any other studio you know everybody's pretty supportive like fucking reese was there one day and he just like he just popped out from the back reese he's Young? like yeah yeah he was just like yo uh i got like 60 brie tacos does any does anybody want to he just like gave like everybody who was like recording some tacos you know it's just like Weird shit like that will happen, like at ID, like that, like won't happen at Shelf One Sound. That's, I'm not saying again, like that makes it a better or worse studio, but like some really cool, funny shit will happen at ID. That like, it's like that's the only place in Pittsburgh is gonna happen. That's what I really. It's like a magical place. Has like, that been a goal sense. of yours? Working at ID? No, creating. Well, yes to that. Well, answer both of these. Um, yes to working at ID, but also having your own studio. Definitely have my own studio, cause like, listen, man, way more. <sighs> when you can know, like everything i can just man and it's just like there's like i and again like i'm not saying i want my own studio just because of the money i'd be able to get people in for better prices and mm -hmm. i'd like i'd actually be able to put more of my money into like visuals and like actually like promoting like what i'm doing you know um but yeah that's definitely one of the dreams um one of the other dreams too is like also like maybe i could like potentially charge enough one day to where like maybe i don't need to do that but like i would also just like to have my own shit you know um, but working ID is like it's definitely dope, especially when like you hear like Mac Miller used to work out of there. Wiz Khalifa still runs through there sometimes. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I, I I I I this is definitely like I people say like, I would rather fish than my job. I'd rather do my job than fish like any day of the week. You know, it's a great job. All right, so for these last three minutes, let's kind of like because yeah, yeah. uh, we spend a lot of money. I mean, a lot of time on yeah. uh, music, and you you know, yeah, yeah. we got to get to the parties and stuff. <laughs> okay, so just tell me. As far as like artists that like you haven't worked with yet, has there been people that you're like, oh, I have to work with them? Like actually, yeah, yeah, we'll go. Bird, you haven't worked with Bird? No, she is talented, Beast. bro. Um, shit, man, just like are you talking about in the city? Or just, yeah, like, of in course, general? in the city, and then you can um, go industry wise too if you want. Um, there's this guy named Landon that I've been seeing. He does like some R&B stuff. I, I've been trying to work with him. Um. Shit. Oh, uh, my boy, uh, Happy Clouds, he makes, like, some really weird, like, hype slash funny slash, like, turnt ass rap, mm -hmm. and I would love to just play with that sound. Mm -hmm. I, I really like playing with sound, so, like, anybody who just, like, comes up and, like, has, That's like, different. wants some weird shit done and is just, like, all right, take this, like, three-second clip from American Pie and put it as, like, the beat and loop that, and I'm like... I don't know what the fuck you're talking it's like about. Testing it. But I want to try testing that shit. Your limits. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. you know? And it like it it sharpens your iron, it sharpens your sword and yeah, I, I I that's the only way I get better. I probably don't even know half the people I want to work with in the city because again, I only well, know you, the, well, of course Bird. That was the yeah, first bro, way bird, he said that bird's for sure. Bro, Bird's a beast, but like <laughs> the East Side bubble is like it is I'm in I'm definitely in the East Side bubble. Like that's why I'm happy for like I have clients like Linwood who like he's from the north, like I I know more people from the north from because of him. James, like I know some people from the hill because of James, so it's like I'm just trying to like expand my horizons outside of this east side like kind of like block and try to like really hit every spot of the city. Okay. So, uh what was the first song you created cuz we didn't talk about this in the, the first song. This one. Yeah. The very first song on that project actually isn't even on that project. No, the first song you created. Like, oh, I created. Yeah. Not the beat, like a, a actual song. 
like the first song I yes. did myself. Yes. Uh, that's uh, when I did my iPhone demos with GarageBand. That's the first time I did a song on my iPhone headphones. Okay, and that would be for you. Yeah. All right. Now, what was the first one you did for someone else? When it's like you, the first Engineer? one you engineered. Yeah. Brother Man's Purpose. Mm. I just got the gun and my purpose coming. Yeah, that's the that's brother. Um, Ken Folk Two is the first thing, I actually. Like, did you do free? Free? No, I didn't do. He he he's does he does all of his new stuff. Like all of his new stuff. That's all Manny. But like Ken Folk Two, um, Bing Bong. Like uh, a lot of stuff that came up. Like safe? Did you do safe? Definitely did safe. That whoo, slaps. That actually, really you know what? No, 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 no. You didn't do safe. No, no, no. My bad. Evan did safe because he slid on Evan. You know, Evan two hundred K. No. Evan two hundred K is actually. I I gotta connect you two too because he's got like placements with like uh he had big placements with like low key and stuff. But okay. uh, uh, Evan two two hundred K. Uh, he he made that beat and he engineered. Uh, they they did all that stuff out at his studio. Mm-hmm. Um, he's on Brownsville Road, so check him out. All right. So let's get to your personal life here a little bit. First of all, <laughs> let's talk about where you're from. Yeah, Lawrenceville. Okay. Uh, born and raised and that's like i don't want to say it's a weird place to be from yeah. but it's like now it is to be as popular as you are <laughs> it's kind of a weird place it's to weird be from. yeah yeah you know uh, what i mean i think that's like honestly like one of the reasons why i kind of worked out too like with the parties is because like there were two bus lines coming like you could either go downtown from like literally two blocks like a like half a block from my crib this mm-hmm. way or half a block from, you get downtown or uh east liberty or Oakland, wherever the fuck you need to go like that bus stop would take you. So All right, fuck it. Let's just that, skip to the parties. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. That's uh, that's why I. I mean, I think that's why the Lawrenceville parties did so well because I did. I tried to do a couple out in Penn Hills. A couple like did okay, but like nothing ever was like that. Like, oh, the you're parties, never like, the, it, the bus line. Did, well, now with Uber and stuff, it might be a little yeah. bit easier. But it's just like I be fo- fo- people be so focused in their lives. Yeah, kind of like, but like if you. All right, we'll get to that. But I would love to throw another bash one of these days. Because one thing I want to talk about is, like, when you threw these parties, like, you were one of the few people I realized where it's, like, everyone's going to come to your party. You see walks of different lights. You see hood people there. You see artsy people there. And it's, like, we all know each other from the past, some yeah. form of fashion, <laughs> but we all have been came different people. Yeah. But you were able to manage a various group of people. And, like, you know when you're coming to Devos, no bullshit, like, Everybody knows, Thankfully. like, do not, like, we're not, like, this is Devo, he's too cool, we're not, he's too nice, he treats everybody good, we do not treat him or fuck up anything. Like, of course, if they were drunk or falling yeah, over, yeah, you can't yeah, avoid that. Happens, that. Yeah. So it's just like, ups, yeah. how were you able to make everyone feel like that and to be able to mesh with so many different crowds? That's funny you say that. Like, I have, I don't know if this is like a thing about, like, my face or just, like, the aura I give off, but, like, I don't know, I walk up to somebody and, like, probably, like, 10, 15 minutes in, like, they want, they want to tell me, like, the most, like, like I don't want to say like their their biggest secret or whatever, but like mm-hmm. they'll just like start like venting or just like like you know telling me about like their whole life story. So I just have this like weird thing to where people just feel like they can be like comfortable and vulnerable around me. That's why I think I'm also a good engineer mm-hmm. is because people don't feel like nervous as fuck when they're recording, mm-hmm. you know. So I just try to do that. Like I try to be somebody who like hey like if a random person walked up to me in the street and like I asked them for the time like they're not gonna think I'm judging them like they're not gonna think like I'm on some weird shit you know so I think that's like the the main thing is like I'm a pretty positive person mm-hmm. um, when it comes to people I try not to have any problems I like I really hate like wa- like the fact like even when, some, when people owe me money I feel weird walking around and like seeing those people cause like I'm like damn I like look he gotta press you about this because like you know I'm gonna look weird if I don't but yeah so uh yeah, I just try to be like super. But positive. it's also like you want to be a good person, yeah, but like you feel as if though y'all should understand, yeah. like y'all put me in the and worst again, predicament. Like, th- and again, yeah. like, this is something I'm learning that like people are either gonna take that they see that they'll t- again the, the whole weakness thing like they'll take it as a weakness or they'll just like take it and they'll, like some people won't even take it as a weakness. They just won't ever consider that you're being like nice and you're going out of your way to be nice and like mm-hmm. hey maybe maybe uh, this person's being over considerate. Maybe I should be more considerate. But like some people just don't have that. Like because you know we're all raised different. People's parents mm-hmm. don't like ever like you know you know tell them like hey you should be considerate about how other you make other people feel. Mm-hmm. That's something my mom always like kind of like instilled in me is like make sure like people feel like like I don't know. I always want people to feel good when they're talking to me and like even if it's like you know. Um, even if like I gotta like critique somebody's music or something like that I wanna do it in a way to where like it inspires them to get back into the studio not just like fuck man I don't know what, where I'm gonna go with this music shit you know so yeah okay let's troll back here a little bit yeah yeah so for the parties were you inviting uh, most people from Obama and then word would just get out <laughs> yeah. like if that's how it was yeah no 100% so like after prom was the craziest one because like there was like 
I said, like, we said, like, there's no open liquor, right? And, like, because it was, like, this high school party. And, like, Everyone was already drunk. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> fucked up for real. But, like, st- people were still bringing liquor. It wasn't a problem because, like, it was in cups and stuff. And, like, it was, like, low-key. I knew, like, I had to call this party when this man brought, like, this, like, g- gimmick size like, bottle of vodka. It was, like, huge. Like, the, the size of, like, fucking a body, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, all right, you know what? I feel like I got to call this party. Like, everybody's, like, got to go. Um, and I didn't even know who that person was. He was just like some random guy who pulled up. And I was like, bro, like we're not even like allowed to have like open liquor here. And he's like, oh, my bad, bro. And he was just like still smacking the bottle. And I'm like, all right, uh, this that, that's got to be the party. So like, it, and that's another thing too, like about parties is like, it takes like 35, 40 minutes for everybody like to, to fucking peace out. So like, and that's another thing too about hosting parties is like, you're not even there enjoying the party. You're just fucking making sure everything's going kosher. Oh, and I felt bad. All right. All right. I felt bad, but also we knew to take care of it. You got people yeah. in here smoking, playing 2K. Man. You got people down here playing with this game you guys were playing. Yeah. I can't remember it was, but you guys were all around the table. I think it was like some rap freestyle game or something oh, that you yeah, guys yeah, were yeah. doing. You know oh, yeah. Turtle. About? Turtle. Okay. Was it Turtle, maybe? I don't know. Explain it to me what it uh, is. It's like you take a you take a drink and then you got to repeat a phrase. And then like you like if you don't, repeat, if you don't repeat That's, the phrase, okay. right? That's exactly yeah, okay. That's exactly what I wasn't yeah, going to yeah. try to take. Y'all got <laughs> that and it's just like so i know you're bouncing around in each, and then i would notice that you would come in each room just make sure everything is okay say hi to everybody if somebody's new is there like, oh what's up man how you doing do or, you miss it i miss i miss uh i miss the it there's a there, part of that it's like performing loki like mm-hmm. it's like throwing a good like it's like having a good performance like throwing a good party is like having a good performance because people like bro fucking amazing party but blah, 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 like one of the best nights of my life uh, i had so much fun bro like there was somebody getting ass in my bathroom. I never got ass in my parties, right? And I'm like, what the hell is going on here, right? But like, that's what Yo, I stop, en- stop, 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 stop. We <laughs> that's can't talk about no, it. No, we can't talk about that. We uh, can't people stop. like, you know, having like the time of their lives and like, I'm associated with that. I'm associated mm. with people's good memories and like, mm. just like music. I think that's why I honestly, but I, even before I went to get into music, I wanted to get into like com- uh, being comedy. Mm. Before that, I wanted to be like a chef. So it's like, I always wanted to make people happy. I want to pe- make people feel like warm and welcome and feel good, you know? So I think that's like, honestly why, I, like if I miss anything about the parties, it's like the day after when people are just like texting you like how good it was and you're oh, seeing all the all Snapchats and all the fucking stories and like you're yeah. like wow actually you know i was walking around the whole time and i didn't really have time to like enjoy it but i'm happy like other people and live it. wasn't as popular back then oh imagine if lives was popular oh, back then man. when you had it would have been a, no it that would have been, been good it would have been different yeah but <laughs> yeah luckily luckily never nothing like too traumatic ever happened like the one no time, just like people getting caught up yeah people would have definitely got caught up man <laughs> listen <laughs> I, like, we, 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 yeah um like the for the after prom like cops came like literally three minutes after everybody left with like three paddy wagons right because like they were racing on the bloomfield bridge mm. and coming off the bloomfield bridge <gasps> they oh. took off somebody's mirror right and so like somebody called the cops and i'm like after I, that's like i seen that and our uh the somebody said like yeah i just thought i fucking crashed into a car on this block and then i seen that bottle and i was like yeah this, this that's you the can't par- do it party over here yeah. but it was like also two well that was at too. your at yeah. your crib too yeah so it was like you didn't have it at a, like a, event a spot yeah all right so let's talk about your childhood a little bit childhood yeah. memories hobbies you had as a kid family let's talk about that a little bit yeah um so hobbies basically video games um until like high school mm-hmm. i was like a big video game guy like all i did i probably poured like 300 400 hours into skyrim you know big Grand Theft Auto guy um but like after i joined marching man like i don't know something's more fun about like making music and then just like kind of like i don't know it's yours yeah and like again i don't think it's bad to play video games there's some people who just like shit on playing video games like it's like i feel like if anything that makes you feel happy anything that kind of like stress relief like because i still play video games sometimes but like there's like this thing in the back of my mind when I'm playing video games most of the time now I'm like damn I could be making a beat or I could be practicing piano or I could be doing this or I could be doing it's that it's so bad it's like when yeah. you're almost doing anything it's like oh I could be I could be on the craft. being productive right and it's just like it's not like that when I'm like you know just like out having fun with friends or like connecting because like I can network with people but it's mm-hmm. like I don't know there's just like something about sitting in a house and doing stuff like that like I'm just like kind of over with that part of my life I'm just ready to like really just like get out and meet the world you know so um how are you able to do art I'm gonna ask you this and then we'll get back yeah no, 100%. um how are you able to do it though like when you're going out and stuff like and um because I'm just not the same person I was to where it's like I want to talk to everybody I don't like I 
before it's like I couldn't sense the fake energy or yeah. certain weight feelings no. around me. Now it's like when I go out, it's like, oh, you, you don't mess it. with me. You feel it. I can it. feel everything. I can yeah. read everything. It's just like, no, nah, I'd rather just do one-on-ones. Yeah, no, what's weird is like, after I graduated high school, because like I was, I would say I'm like I was a super popular guy, but like people would see me in, in what? Is it fucking <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop it, bro? There's people that was on the football team that wasn't as popping as you, bro. Stop it, stop it. Well, All right, so, go ahead. to say that, um, I would just feel weird when like I would come back like to like this be after I graduated. I was still volunteering with the band, you know, so I was helping with Sharif with stuff. So I would just be at the school and like people would, like scream seeing me and like for me like. This this was just like a really weird time in my life where I was just like kind of like I didn't have any like I would say purpose like I just kind of felt lost I didn't know where I was going you know and it just didn't make sense to me why people like fucked with you yeah you know and so like that's like probably the hardest thing is like kind of like getting over it and it's like really weird I don't know if it's like artist are thing. you used to it now what the when, bro we oh, were at, at the man made oh, fest oh, yeah. what you said just now literally yeah. happened yeah it's like in the middle of you <laughs> interviewing <laughs> Diva, <laughs> what the fuck is i'm like oh on? of course this happens I, I, like which is kind of cool because like it's it yeah but like uh mm -hmm. yeah i mean i i enjoy it because again like i'd rather it be that than people like see me and then be like i'm gonna just pretend like i don't see this motherfucker you know mm -hmm. like i'd rather people like associate good things and like good memories and like good times with me because again like that's part of the brand you know um, but yeah, like I, I enjoy it, but like also there's like some people where you're just like, like relax a little bit. Cause like, I, I don't know. And again, that's, that's just sometimes I'll be like a little crabby, a little bitchy. And I'm like, you know, I'm you not, can't I'm, always be, a I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to deal with it right now. Like I'm not, I can't like deal with like super high energy all the time. You know? Oh, this is, I forgot to ask you yeah. this. What was the, how did you, uh, what was the, um, the story behind the Vans Vaughn name, like, ah, what, yeah, funny, funny, funny. So I'm so you, glad I remember. No, yeah, that. you're good. Uh, I I appreciate you asking, really, because I never got to really tell this. So I can't use Devo, right? So Devo, other than being like a nickname for everybody who's like named Devin or Devonte or whatever the fuck. So like <laughs> that, and then on top of that, there was you know that song Whip It, do no no in the shape, boo no. Get, so there was like a song in the '80s. Oh, Super Freak. I'm pretty sure sampled it, right? Sampled Whip It. Um, that, that band is called Devo. They made, they have a couple like hits in the 80s, right? Uh, so like, I can't use the name Devo at all. By, by the way, there's already a, guy, a, a producer named Devo, too. So like, and I think I've seen DJ's name. Yeah, DJ too. Devo. And it's just like, all right. So I went to this thrift shop one time, and there was like this bowling jacket from like this like torn down bowling alley um, from like 1988, this like championship bowling jacket. It had Vance on it. I'm like, that's a fucking cool ass name. And I like how like, it's like, if it, it feels blue collar, it feels like working class, like, you know, Vance, like Vance just seems like something you would see on like a air conditioner worker shirt. Like, you know, like on that little patch, like, Oh, I'm Vance. I work, I work for refrigeration. You know, it's like, what's the, what's the guy's name? The evil guy from, um, it's Dr. Doom, but what's his real name? Victor Va Victor uh, Von Doom. I don't know why Vance Victor Vaughn just so, like... So the funny enough about that, so this is where it all ties in. Um, you know, Vaughn, Devon. Mm -hmm. um, Victor Vaughn is my, my biggest inspiration, probably production-wise, is MF Doom. Um, Victor Vaughn is one of his alter egos. Um, so, so I did not know any of this. I yeah. just I don't know why. It no, yes, yeah, so that's that's why. Like, there's so much stock that goes into it. But like, I really just at first it was really just like I wanted something like that was like kind of like low key. It's gonna sound cringy now, but I want something that was like Drake. That was like just one syllable, easy to remember, like different. I don't know anybody else named Vance, but um, I seen somebody else named Vance, and then like I seen the MF Doom thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm Vance Vaughn. Fuck it, and then going from there. Yeah. Okay, so. How do you, how do you feel about the new party scene in Pittsburgh? Like, do you like? It's never going to be the same. Like, how do you feel about it? Oh, that's a that's a great question. I actually, um, my partying consists of being in the studio and smoking weed with my clients nowadays. Mm -hmm. I am not as in like if I'm going out to like events, like I'm going to like networking events and like it's going to be an event that you're going to see artists. At. Yeah, it's, it's like I, those days or where I'm just like going to like a house and like turn it up like i'm not saying they're behind me like i still enjoy that like there's still kickbacks i like going to and stuff like that but uh i personally can't make a comment on like the per like the current pittsburgh like party scene i do have people tell me like every like couple months though like i should throw parties again though so i don't know if that's a sign <laughs> well i mean you were good at throwing parties and i, I I wanted to ask you this but i i swear it's a certain question you just don't want to ask you want to overstep your bounds it's like I was confused why you didn't throw a listening party. Oh, uh, so again, so I definitely was thinking about it, but it's again like I 
I really want to be intentional with everything that I do mm. and everything that I do. I want people to be like, be like, okay, he really thought about this. He took his time on this. Like everything was like, I and don't you would want have been able to just throw it together. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it to seem unprofessional. Yeah. And then like, if I wanted to do it, I really want to do it. Like I would have flew down all the artists from like the different, pla like I had, I was like starting, I was going to do like this art auction slash listening party, like a whole deal. But then like thinking about like, I'd have to pay like, you know, Bro, money, bro. People don't understand. If I could get a lump sum, just like give me like start me off. Fuck it, twenty to thirty k. I that's all I need. I would need bro. To, if I I need eight k right now. I'd be able to start my own studio. I'd be making like triple the money I'm making right now. So it's and like then it's like you could help everybody. It's like people don't understand. Like bro, I want to help everybody. Just share the yeah. free way. It's like that we you can get people there. They don't want to do, but then they don't want you to charge. It's like yeah. bro, nigga, what do you no, want? It's it's crazy. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, I mean, like, that's that's the grind part that everybody's, like, kind of, like, a lot of people are scared of is, like, hey, there's not going to be funding. There's not going to be somebody who's going to come and save you. So, fucking, with a limited budget, m many people don't care about what you're doing. Like, how are you going to make that shit shake? So, when you do make it, yeah, are you going to be... Because I've thought about this and I've just decided now that I don't care what people think. I don't care how I feel. I'm, a, I'm not going to change. When you make it, are you going to be the person where it's, like, damn... Y'all wasn't really fucking with me in the beginning. Like, and of course you have people that like your music. I'm not saying yeah, that, no, but you know 100%. what I, where no, your music should be. I know be. what you mean. Yeah. So like, it's like, it's definitely going to be like a talk to me nice, but it's not going to be like, you know, fuck you. Like if I have a relationship with somebody who like, especially is like at the very least, again, like that's another thing too. Like, I feel like there's some people who like feel like, you know, and again, that's not, not saying this is where you're coming from, but there's some people who want everybody to be on their dick when it's just like, what have you done to deserve it, you know? And it's just like, I understand that like, I got like way, 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 way more groundwork to do in order for people to actually like be invested and to give them fuck about what like I'm doing fully. And, and again, the first project was a great start, right? Cause oh, phenomenal. It's, yeah, bro, appreciate you, it. You kind of have a little cheat code. <laughs> that was a cheat code as a start. Yeah, and it's like, and that's also like a thing I, I'm trying to sell a service too to where it's just like, I do consultations for projects. So if somebody wants something, I'm not saying do a compilation album for everybody and like every, if somebody wants a compilation album, I'll do a compilation for everybody. But like, hey, if you don't, if you're like kind of like stagnant and you're like used to perform with like the same, like four people and you're like, I kind of want to do something with people out of different cities and like, I'm tired of using the same videographer and blah, blah, blah. I just, kind of want like a different like head like i actually do consultation services to where like i don't it's, you don't even have to come to me to engineer i'm just like we're having weekly meetings where like we we sit and we discuss about whatever the hell is on your mind whether it's a signal si signal uh ep or album and we just try to make that as coherent and as professional and as like polished as possible you know and now you have proof that you you have done that's, it that's the whole thing it's like making something to where people like because like i can i can say on facebook like you know y'all are releasing your projects wrong like y'all need to do more rollout y'all need to like have more like you know meet or content y'all need to be doing but if i'm not releasing any content if i'm not doing shit if i like it's all gonna come on like what have you done to even give that advice you know so it's like i want to be in the place to where like people value my my advice because they value the position i'm in because like what i'm advising on is like you know something that i know about you know so one more thing and yeah. then we have to wrap up no, another right. thing i want to highlight again is like i noticed you did like on um facebook you did like many i don't want to yeah technically it was like a mini like kind of collage type thing where you had the artist picture oh yeah other pictures of them, lights, yeah the project picture the song da 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 and i'm just thinking like people that don't understand aren't going to understand yeah. but creatives that are looking like well how i looked at it was like oh man he's so far ahead <laughs> like just like think like ways of marketing and yeah. stuff because i haven't seen anyone do that on a collab project or yeah. tape where it's like you highlight each artist in a master song and then they're just like their hobbies and yeah. stuff like and then a little nice little story about yeah, them and it's like i i knew like again like i'm getting underground rappers from like fucking canada i'm getting underground rappers from like uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, you know, and that's not the shit on those places. It's just like I know most people in Pittsburgh don't even follow underground Pittsburgh hip hop. So it's like to expect them to know fucking a million in Montreal is just I would I'd be I'd be stupid, you know. So that's why I like, hey, this is like this is why I picked this person. A million and what was it? Flash, Flash J. J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A day. Who went first on that song? A million. I'm I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna just that first verse. Crazy, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it you at went that. Nutty. Yeah, you went nutty. <laughs> actually, uh, I think it was uh, 
Kevin Abstract and I want to say Jid actually like retweeted on on like Jid either. that uh, Avatar Benji and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. so it's like I don't know if like they either retweeted him or like reposted him on Instagram or something like that but like he mentioned that but like he's he's a beast but like yeah I wanted to do something to where like hey like even if well first off content like I, you gotta just keep throwing it in people's and faces that's like as many uh, people if you have on there that's a post for each of them basically yeah there's uh two people i didn't do ty from um from that's uh, more content you can post later yes but he's from harlem and he doesn't have any social media and he also like he uh i met him through a old studio i used to work at he signed to the label and like he got sick and he's been gone for like a year he changed his number i don't even know how to f- all right hold on we gotta wrap. i'm yeah. so no, sorry you're fine. You're but we have to wrap i appreciate up. you bro thank you tell for people me on. tell people everywhere they can find you instagram facebook bet, everything bet, bet. all of your music um, youtube uh facebook i'm gonna be devon devo sprat uh you could just look up devo you'll probably find me um van at vance vaughn on instagram vance vaughn on facebook or it's not facebook excuse me on uh youtube um that the topic or just my actual youtube page um yeah but anywhere you need to find me look up vance vaughn um but yeah great to, conversation yeah, and thank you for not being nervous like hey, you bro, just float i had to ask you before thanks bro i appreciate okay. you having me on bro seriously All right.